Welcome, I found me the Google Pixel 4 and today I will show you how to restore your device. So I will actually demonstrate both of the steps on a single device. So I will create a backup and also restore it on here. But this process works on different devices. So you could theoretically use a uh, your old device to create a backup and then use this device to restore it on the new one. So let's start by going into the settings to create a backup. So the settings, uh, number one, make sure that you actually have a Google account, otherwise this won't actually work. So as you will see, I am logged in right here. This is the account that I'll be using. And then you can go into the settings, tap on more, and you will see the option backup. Uh, make sure that you enable this. So it's enabled, and then you will see the uh, backup now button. Uh, so you can create a backup right away. Otherwise, your device will just uh, create a backup once uh, so often, whatever it's set to create it, like once a week or, or so. So just tap on backup now, it will start backing up. Now there's not much data on here, so it will go relatively quick. There's only like one app, I think. Um, but if you have like device full of music, photos and applications, it will take well significantly longer time than it is uh, taking for me at the moment. So let's just wait for it to back up, which you can see the progress bar right here. The blue line that is well, not really moving at the moment. But yeah, let's wait for it to finish. As you can see, I will get the message, your data is backed up. So now it's finished. So I'm gonna quickly perform a reset of the device. Um, now, don't worry, this actually takes shorter time than actually backing it up for some reason. So I'm gonna shut it off and reset it. So I can restore the device from the backup that I have just created. Let's reboot. So keep in mind that uh, the backup will need to be done on the same account. So for instance, if I created the backup on the hard reset uh, account, as you've seen before, it will also be accessible on the hard reset and no other account. So once it actually finishes, we will have to log into the account actually see the uh, backup so let's begin um, I'm just gonna change it to English and that is basically how the device looks after booting it up for the first time uh, or resetting it and the device uh, is fully clear there is no data on it uh, just a stock Android right now with without any kind of uh, apps installed and anything so number one connect to network like I just did Okay, so from here, you will see the copy apps and data. You want to select next. Uh, so we actually have the option. And by default, it resorts to moving the data over the cable, but not everybody has uh, a cable and a uh, transfer one. So we can go from C or from type A to type C. So we're just gonna press right here. Uh, can't use old phone. Okay. And let's log into the account. Now 
Tap on next. I'm gonna now log in. I just had a previous account, okay. And here you have the list of all the backups accessible. Now, disregard most of them. Uh, they're not really important because uh, we're only focusing on the one that has been created on the pixel. Uh, all the other ones are from well different devices, which you can also use. Uh, they will. Uh, they were created randomly, not actually by me, but by the phone itself as an automatic backup. So you can see there is a few more and uh, if you'd actually go to website, you'd see even more, but those are the most recent ones. So I'm going to choose the Pixel one, the one that has been created four minutes ago. Uh, so let's tap on it. Here it gives you a couple options, so you can see that there's one app that will uh, restore, which you can also tap on it and it will show you what the uh, what the name of the app is. Um, now, if you created it on a device well, that had way more apps than I did, then you will have all of them here as well and you can select which one you want to keep or uh, and back up uh, back to your device or if you don't want them, you can uncheck them. Then you'll also have contacts and device settings and additional options. So I'm going to keep everything as it is so it backs up everything uh, back to the device that includes wallpapers, all the settings that have been changed. It basically will be the same, uh, looking the same as before the uh, reset. So let's just tap on restore. More and more and accept. Now here we have a screen like we're basically progressing with the setup of the device, which can skip this, it doesn't really matter now. Uh, leave, get reminder. I'm gonna deselect this for a quicker way of setup. Next, next, next. And all set. And you can see that the wallpaper fonts and everything is back and also the app itself uh, has been backed up. So, as you can see, that's basically how you would back up your uh, device and also restore it. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.